Okay, I don't want to say that this was a bad idea, but I think this was a bad idea. Today I'm showing you Twizzler booze. Let's get started. This is literally Twizzler alcohol. I ferment a lot of dumb things on my channel, and this might be one of the weirdest ones. You can see them here, they're still in carboys, and I'll kind of walk you through what I did, and then I'm gonna taste them. It's gonna be gross. I think it'll be gross. I have, I have low expectations, I'll put it that way. All right, so what did I do? I bought five pounds of Twizzlers. I got on Amazon, you could buy a huge thing of Twizzlers. Um, bought five pounds, got a big old pot for boiling water, and I put about, might've been two gallons of water, I think. Got that to a boil. I then took all five pounds of Twizzlers, put them into that pot, and started boiling. And I learned something quickly about Twizzlers, and that is they are basically just really, really strong spaghetti. There is a certain flour that is the main, one of the main things in Twizzlers that holds them together, that gives them structure, and that flour does not boil down or out, and uh, at least very well. So these things turned into basically really thick spaghetti, and I was trying to mix that up. It did not go very well. So we ended up um, boiling as much as we could. We moved that into a bucket, and I actually had to kind of move it through a second bucket to sift out the chunks, literal chunks of Twizzler from this brew, um, stuff that was not going to ferment or really just do anything uh, there. So we then took that Twizzler really thick liquid, let it cool down, and uh, I wanted to make a wine out with it, and I wanted to make a mead. And um, so wine is of course sugar based generally. Normally it's sh sugar from grapes. This was sugar from Twizzlers, and mead is um, honey based. So I threw some honey into this mead version. I put them in two different containers, and uh, I'll put a rough recipe up, but I don't know that it matters all that much. And then the wine, I left it as is. I could have put more sugar with it, but I didn't. I tried to take a gravity reading, which would tell you how alcoholic this is, and guess what? I couldn't figure it out because it's like, it's thick. It literally like is like chunky and the hydrometer wasn't gonna read anything. So I have no idea how alcoholic these things are, <laughs> which is gross. So try to get that. Let these things start fermenting. It's been two months since I started this project and I've just been letting them set. I just a few minutes ago, or just a little bit ago, took and racked the mead out of the bucket that it went from into this container. And this is still the wine, but it's been setting like this. And you can tell something has gone on with the Twizzler wine version. You notice the separation? I don't know what this top layer is. I don't know what this bottom layer is. There's something on top of it too that's looking a little bit suspect. I guess I have to taste it now. Oh, okay. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. Further, this is for the video. Um, I would not normally do this if it weren't on video because it's kind of gross, but I am going to take and get a little bit of the top part of this Twizzler wine. Here we go. This is the top clear or whatever, milkier substance look, looking substance. Ew. Ew. <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and dip down to the bottom even though I think it's just chunky Twizzler goo. Ew. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> this is disgusting. Look at this. It looks like cough syrup. Ugh. Gosh. And here's the mead. I don't know that this, again, I, I don't know this was a wise idea, but we're gonna try it for you, for the internet. Should Twizzlers be alcohol? Let's let's find out together. Uh, uh, ugh. I might, my stomach just had a moment where it flipped over because I know this is gonna be gross. Okay, gotta get some water. What do I start with? Um, okay, I don't know why my stomach is like all of a sudden flipping over. I don't normally have this problem, 
but here we go. Let's go with the, the bottom chunkiness here. I mean, it smells like Twizzlers, sugar. That looks disgusting. All right, here you go. Oh my gosh. I couldn't find somewhere, somewhere to spit it out. That is awful. It's like cough syrup and it's like no sugar. It's got the flowery taste. It's like all the flower substance from those, the um, Twizzlers. Like a little bit of that Twizzler taste, but oh, okay. Calm down, calm, calm, calm ourselves. It's sour. Oh. oh, that is disgusting. That is the worst thing I've ever tasted. And I've made some really stupid stuff. That's awful. What, uh, what could this top part be? Is it just the water? Did the water separate from the chunks? It's sugary, same smell as the other one. It's like, it's the, <laughs> the thinner version of this. There's the sour, kind of cherry-ish taste that has no, just nothing there other than this, oh, that is literally terrible. Twizzler wine, for sure, should not exist. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say it. I'm gonna, I don't think anyone else is gonna do this. I think I'm doing this for the internet. Don't, don't do this. Twizzler wine. Okay, uh, maybe there's hope for mead. Maybe the mead will be better. Oh no, holy, that smells, oh, that smells like feet. Um, I used a champagne yeast to try and just ferment because I just wanted it to ferment, but oh my gosh, that smells awful. It smells like feet, it smells like, oh, I don't even know. Here we go. I mean, it's got a little more sweetness. I believe this fermented out to, to be dry, but it, it's got a lot of yeasty character, like a weird, obviously fermented candy. This is the worst thing I've ever made on my channel. I've made hundreds of recipes at this point, and this is the freaking worst. Twizzlers should not be alcohol. Someone's gonna come fight me in the comments in the uh, r slash, uh, the Reddit, page r slash uh, prison hooch they're gonna be like well i did it and it tasted great and by golly good job buddy you did it but twizzler wine twizzler mead don't make that i'm just gonna just gonna tell you you don't have to do it i did it for you don't waste your money i literally am i, I don't think there's any hope for this i would normally say like ah, i'm gonna hold on to it for like um you know six months and see if it gets better i don't think there's any hope and i i don't want to I don't wanna deal with it anymore. Two months is definitely, uh, I think plenty of time to let this thing set. If you enjoyed this, feel free to hit like and subscribe to the channel. I don't always make these wild uh, meads and wines, but sometimes I do. And so if you enjoyed this, if you have other ideas of what kind of candies you wanna see, I'll spoil, I've already got a couple more in the works. Um, so if you recommend one, I might already be doing it, but <laughs> these are kind of fun. You can find regular mead recipes on my channel, um, which is a lot of fun. So don't go make this recipe, but go make some other thing that's not Twizzler based. And I'll see you in the future. Cheers.